BAE Systems. Land and Armaments is pushing ahead on manufacturing canisters that house the wide variety of missiles launched from the Mark 41 Vertical Launch System, VLS, the below-deck launcher on board all Arleigh Burke-class destroyers and Ticonderoga-class cruisers. The Mark 41 is installed on about 180 ships of 26 ship classes in 13 navies. For the U.S. Navy, the Lockheed Martin-designed Mark 41 can launch every type of shipboard air warfare and strike missile. The anti-air warfare, SM-2 Blocks 3, A-B, and SM-6. The anti-submarine warfare vertical launch rocket, ASROC. The Tomahawk cruise missile and long-range anti-ship missile. And the SM-3 ballistic missile defense missile. Each Mark 41 cell contains BAE-built protective shipping containers canisters. Most missiles are housed in individual canisters that are loaded into the cells. Most cells contain a single canister, but smaller missiles can be quad-packed. Four evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, for example, fit in a BAE-developed Mark 25 canister, which occupies a single cell. Cells are grouped into modules, typically eight cells per module. Lockheed developed two module types a 25-foot-long strike module for the Tomahawk, SM-3 BMD missiles, and a 22-foot-long tactical module for other weapons. The number of modules varies by ship type. Flight 1 and 2 DDGs have 90 cells, 29 in the forward, and 61 aft. Flight 2A ships and new Flight 3s will have 32 cells forward and 64 cells aft, for 96 total. The Ticonderogas are fitted with 61 cells in both forward and aft launchers. The Navy's next-generation destroyer, known for now as DDGX, also will get the Mark 41. The Constellation-class frigates will have 32 Mark 41 cells. The three Zumwalt-class destroyers are fitted with the Mark 57 Peripheral Vertical Launch System, developed by Raytheon. The Mark 57 is configured with four cell modules and is built into the periphery of the hull instead of the interior like the Mark 41. The Mark 57 can launch the same missiles as the Mark 41, as well as larger and heavier missiles. Cells for both types are protected by deck hatch assemblies that open for missile launch. On launch, exhaust gases are vented vertically out of the cells. The Mark 57 has an improved exhaust system. BAE won a Navy contract valued at about $24 million in February 2020 for canister production, support, refurbishment, repair, and spares. The Navy later funded additional canister work and foreign military sales funds for Japan, Australia, Norway, the Netherlands, Turkey, and Chile. In March 2021, the Navy purchased more canisters from BAE for its ships, as well as the Korean, Spanish, Australian, and Turkish navies. BAE also won a Navy award in May 2021 to act as mechanical design agent for the Mark 41. And in July 2023, the company received a $37 million award from DOD's Ordnance Technology Consortium for design of a next-generation evolved Sea Sparrow Missile Launch System, NGLs. The company says it will support the NATO Sea Sparrow program office to design and deliver prototype deck launching systems. The NGLs will be a deck-mounted fixed-angle launcher based on the company's adaptable deck launcher and incorporating technology from the Mark 25 quad pack. Mark 41 Prime Lockheed Martin now is building on Mark 41 technology to develop a single-cell launcher that would retain the form of the Mark 25 quad pack. The single-cell system will be for use on patrol craft and other small ships.